Hello TikTok, this is Lions Den with another news and commentary. I'm doing a story that the mainstream media don't want to talk about. And this will happen March 11th of 2021. A brother named Jonathan Strickland was shot by Las Cruces police nearly 100 rounds in his car. Now I want to give a shout out to uh, LCPD Police Corruption on Twitter for this. Um, they sent me... Uh, a story that I haven't heard before, but I'm glad they did. And and the tweet says, look at this. Uh, police brutality against unarmed, unarmed black men. He had his hands up and yelled, I'm unarmed. But Las Cruces police still shot over 100, um, over 90 bullets, excuse me, over 90 bullets at him. He, survi he survived here to full body cam video. Please help. Now, I saw the video and it's very disturbing. So instead of showing you here on TikTok, I'm going to show you a lot of receipts that um, that LCPD police corruption sent to me that's important to this investigation. Now check this out. Okay, so the local media here claims that it was a domestic violence call. Okay, the police, is, you know, with this domestic violence call. And, um, of course, Jonathan's wife, Brandy, which we're going to talk about her in a second, you know, they're claiming that, you know, he was accused of pointing a gun at his wife's head, side of her head. Now, according to this article, and this article happened a year ago, which is according to KRQE, they claiming that he pointed in the victim's side of the head in a domestic violence dispute. They didn't even explain of who this woman was and until it turns out that was his wife, Brandy. Now, check this out. Now, according to Las Cruces police report, you know, the media claimed he had a gun. But then, according to this police report right here, it says that he didn't have a gun when they, he was apprehended. In fact, they sent a medical or a, a, sent a, uh, an ambulance to try to revive him and try to save his life. And luckily, he survived. But guess what? There's one last piece of the puzzle. Now, Jonathan's wife, Brandy, the one that unidentified said in the story, has did an affidavit to the police saying that he wasn't violent, he wasn't doing anything. So, ladies and gentlemen, it shows you that this situation happened. Now, we already heard about the Brett Rosenau and the Keyshawn Thomases, but this story needs to be talked about. So, TikTok, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to you later. Lions is gone. Deuces.